Okay, I'm back for the next part of our drawing of our chair, our pop-up chair picture. You are going to need a ruler for this part, and I want to show you again the fold, okay? The next thing I want to do is, um, oops, I don't want to do that. I want to make a little dot here on my chair. I'll show you. Can you see that? Now that is a vanishing point, so it's going to look like everything kind of vanishes at that one little point, even though we know that it really doesn't. I'm going to take my ruler now and I'm going to make a very wide V. So here, and I'm going to make this here, that's one side, and then I'm going to match that out here on this side. Now one thing you can do, I did it pretty evenly, but I can also make sure that I make that stop at the same point. Okay. Now, we're going to make a floor, and I'll bring one of my pictures back. And the floor to start has to have lines that go out, and you can see they're all going to look like they disappear back here. This helps to give the illusion of depth in your picture. So let me show you how we get there. So I'm going to take my ruler and from this point I'm going to make a line out. So I'm going to come out here like that. It helps to turn my paper. So I'm going to hold it to this point and I'm going to put it at a spot on the end of the paper. I want to hold the ruler pressing down with my fingers in the middle. Okay. I'm going to go to the vanishing point. I'm going to hold my fingers in the middle and draw a line out. You want to try to keep them kind of not, not too small, not too big. So you can see that takes a little bit of time, all right? Now this is the part where it can get a little tricky. So I'm going to take, here's the fold line again, see? I'm going to put my ruler on top of that fold line. And I'm going to make sure it's parallel, parallel to the top of my paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line out and a line out. So now it's starting to look like the floor in the background. Okay? I can erase these lines now because they have already helped me enough. Okay. Now I have to add the walls. Now the wall, now I've already erased, erased my vanishing point and boy I probably shouldn't have done that because I need to make one more wide line out here. Here. And here. Oops. I can erase this. And erase this. So really you want to make sure that these spots are filled up. Now I can see that the wall, the line touches here and it touches here. Do you see what I'm saying? So this last line touches here and this last line touches here. That's important because that's where the wall going up straight is going to go. Now if I just did it freehand, I would be making a wall that goes up here and a wall that goes up there. That really doesn't look too bad, but I want to go back and neaten it up. So I'm going to take my ruler, neaten that up, take my ruler, neaten it up. Okay? 
Now it's still looking pretty good, but now I can erase this line and this line. So the only thing you want is that last line that you made from the vanishing point, this line here, and the lines going up. So hopefully you can see it's starting to look like a room. Here's the back wall, side wall, side wall, floor. Okay? I'll see you in the next video.